Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, this is going to be a quick video, but I've had a lot of people asking about it, so I figured I'd go ahead and get it out of the way. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get cheats up and running in PPSSPP. Now, keep in mind, I'm on a Windows machine right now showing you how to do it, but this works on Mac, Linux, Android, and even RetroPie, but getting to these certain directories will be a bit different. Overall, the process is exactly the same. So the very first thing we're going to need to do is get a cheats database file and there's tons of them online. My personal favorite is over here on GitHub. And one of the big reasons this is my personal favorite is because it's still being updated as making this video it was updated nine days ago. Now I will admit with this cheats database file here for PPSSPP, there's a lot of stuff that I will never use, but there's still a lot of quality cheats here. There's several of these floating around online. You can do a quick Google search and find a ton of these, but this is the one I personally use. So we're going to have to download it. We're going to download the master from right here. It's now going to go to my downloads folder. I'm going to go ahead and show in folder and I'm going to extract it. Now, if you're on an Android device, you can download WinRAR or something like that and extract it just like we did there. So we're going to go into the CW cheat folder here. And this is the main file that we're going to be working with, cheat.db. So what I'm going to do is just snap it over here to the right hand side. And now I'm going to locate my PPSSPP folder. We're just going to open this up and inside of here, you'll see some folders. Now make sure you at least start this one time to get everything populated, but we want to find memstick, PSP, and you'll have a folder called cheats. If cheats is not located here, you can create the folder yourself, but it should be here as long as you've started PPSSPP at least one time. We're going to open this up and we're just going to take that cheat.db that we downloaded and place it right in here. So this contains all of our cheats that we can use with PPSSPP. So now in order to get this up and running, we're going to head back and start up the emulator. From within the emulator, we're going to head over to Settings, System, and we're going to find Enable Cheats. It's located right here. Make sure this is checked. Now here's the deal. When you're cheating on any game, there's always a chance that you can corrupt data. So I always recommend creating two saves, one with cheats and one without cheats. But it's real fun to mess around with these every once in a while. So we're going to back up. So now we have the cheat file in the correct location. We have cheats enabled inside of the emulator. All that's really left to do is start up a game. I'm going to go with Ratchet and Clank. I'm just going to back up. And now we'll have a new section here called cheats. As you can see, there's no cheats listed. That's because we need to import them from that cheat DB file. So just choose import from cheat.db and it's going to populate the cheats for us. If we take a look over here, we have the cheats categorized. We have optimization cheats and general cheats. So I'm not going to enable any right now. We're going to head back and I'm going to load up my save file for Ratchet and Clank. So for this one, I'm just going to go with the all armors cheat. So if we go into the menu, we'll go to armor. And as you can see here, I don't have any of the armors unlocked. So I'm going to back out into the menu. We're going to go back to cheats. And from over here, I'm going to find unlock all armors. There's actually a couple in here. It says all armors, all armor sets. This one doesn't unlock them all. Unfortunately, we have to find the other one. Have all armors. So we've got that checked. Just skipped out on me. We'll back up. We'll continue the game. And as you can see, I have them all unlocked now. And that's pretty much it. I mean, that's how you enable cheats with PPSSPP. Like I mentioned, I do recommend creating two save files, one with cheats and one without, so you don't get stuck with a corrupted save if you have a bunch of cheats enabled. Let's go with Chains of Olympus. So I'm going to back up. I'm going to load this fresh save over here. Okay, so as you see, I don't have any orbs right now in my inventory up in the top left hand corner. We're going to back up, go to Cheats, Import from the cheat DB. And now I need to find all my orbs. So optimization cheats, general cheats. Instead of going with this one, we're actually going to go with unlimited orbs. Infinite red orbs. 
don't know why it keeps skipping out on me. Back up, continue the game, and there we have it. I got as many orbs as I ever want with this game now. It's actually really easy to set up, and it really doesn't matter if you're on Windows, Android, Mac, RetroPie, or anything like that. You just need to get that cheat DB file in the correct location. So that's pretty much it for this video. Really appreciate you watching. This has definitely been around a long time for PPSSPP, but I've had a lot of people asking about it, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a video. I will leave a link in the description to that cheat database file that I personally use, but if you have any suggestions or any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.